Hello, today I am going to be doing a very special video. I am going to be transforming into a goth. That's right, normie to goth transformation. It's gonna be such a different look for me. I've never seen myself looking like a goth. So I'm very interested to see how this is gonna turn out. As you know, I dress girly all the time. I'm just a girly girl, and today I'm going to be dressing goth and going out in goth wear. I know you guys have never seen me looking goth before, but I assure you, I am going to do my darndest to make this transformation successful. You're gonna have no idea that I ever looked like this. Uh, so I did my due diligence and I Googled what is goth and I found basically nothing. So we're going in blind. <laughs> I do know that the goth community loves black lipstick. So obviously that's what I gotta do. I know it's all about wearing black on black on black and that's it. And is there like music that they listen to or something? I'm going to be debuting my new look at the goth club. I'm going to Das Bunker. You know, I don't have high hopes for this, given that I have done zero research going into this video, but I am sure that I can rock any look. Let's go heavy on the black makeup. Wow, this is a lot of eyeliner. I don't know how you guys do this all the time. Okay, I'm at the point where my hair is actively interfering with this look, so let's just take that shit off. I know that colored hair doesn't really go with the goth look, but I have no idea how it's gonna work with having this much colored hair, but we're gonna have to make it work because that's the only wig I got. From my research that I've done on Instagram, I can tell that the goth community is very vibrant. Full of life, but also depressing backstories. I have heard that music is a significant part of the goth subculture. I don't listen to goth music. I just listen to dark wave, post-punk, industrial metal, industrial, Neue Deutsche Hertha, synth pop, synth wave, dark wave, dark synth. Totally unrelated. I'm gonna be wearing a bra tonight. It's gonna be so scandalous. I hope nobody that I know sees me here. That would be so embarrassing for somebody to see me in, in, in full goth geesh, you know? I'm worried that my bubbly personality is gonna make me stand out from the crowd. I think the biggest lesson that I'm gonna learn from this process is it's not about what you wear. It's about the brands you wear. And I'm gonna be wearing Killstar <laughs> okay, well, this is looking bad. Let's just tell it like it is. So I'm gonna go fix it off camera and then I'll be right back with an outfit on. Okay, I cleaned up the makeup a little bit. Here it is. And here is the finished look. Yes, all of the fur trimmings were made with unpaid labor. Uh, my roommate is a saint. I, uh, well, I forced him to do it, so. If you want, you can also um, ask my roommate to do unpaid labor, but the only catch is you would have to pay him for it. I have an arrangement where I can force him to, to make garments like this in exchange for internet clout. So uh, I think that's a pretty fair deal. Don't you know I have clout? Do you know who I am? No. I don't really know what you would call this style. It came out looking a little bit more cyber than it did goth. So I feel like I'm gonna call this um, cyber goth. Just thinking off the cuff right here. This is so extreme. I have literally never looked like this. Isn't that crazy? And uh, I feel so comfortable. I feel so alive. Who would have thunk? Who would have thought uh, a normie like me would uh, rock a, a cyber goth look? <laughs> I will say. I feel like there's too much ass. My ass is fully out. These cheeks are clapping with every step. <gasps> too much ass. Mia. Mia. Rar. Mia. What? <laughs> Roommate made me sit in the cuck chair. It's not a cuck chair. It's a cuck throne. Oh 
<laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Hayden, I think I'm gonna call this cyber goth. Oh, shit, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm so glad that we just had these lag around. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, right? That's crazy. They go perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, we can we can do this. This is this is working. Oh whoa. Oh Nelly. I'm de-wigged. Oh wow. <laughs> Smashed it. Do you think I look cyber goth even without the hair? I mean, the outfit's pretty loud, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you think I'll fit in with all the goth people? Um, yeah, I think they'll think you're just one, like one of them. Oh, one can only dream. <laughs> Show them your outfit. Show them your outfit. Um, I have fishnet, Gucci. Um, this I had to tie in knots because it drags on the floor. Um, I have these boots. They glow in the dark. Oh. Webs. Oh, sick. Mm -hmm. How goth do you feel? Seventy um, percent. Incredible. <laughs> how goth do you feel? Mm. Hayden, how do you feel? Mm. Okay, outfit reveal. Outfit reveal. Show me, show me the outfit. Show. Do it for your mama. Shake it for your mama. Let's go, Hayden. Let's go. You look so goth. I'm so glad that you agreed to participate in the goth challenge with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, now give me a twirl. Give me, give me a twirl. Give me a twirl. That's right. That's, that's so right. That's so correct. Okay, great. Stop. To the Taco Bell Cantina. TV. People are protesting Scientology. See, they're protesting Scientology over there. And like, good for them, because... They suck. Hold on. Yeah, see, there, there's the Scientology. It's not the headquarters, but it's one of their little nefarious zones. Nicest talk of all I've ever been in. Awesome. Thanks. So we finally made it to Das Bunker, and within 30 seconds of climbing these stairs, we ran into a cyber goth couple wearing basically the exact same outfit as me. Hey, hold you up. know how hard it is to find other cyber goths in LA? I know! Do you know how hard it is to find other cyber goths in fucking LA? This is excellent. We were fucking surprised we found each other. Oh my god. Cyber Goss in LA. This is crazy. This is the only other person that we have ever met in our five years of being Cyber Goths in LA. <laughs> All right. I love that. Oh. <laughs> At the Cyber Goggles. Oh. What's your name? I go by Toxic Kaiju. Toxic Kaiju. I'm Dandy. Nice to meet you. I'm Belize Cyber Queen. Love it. Can I get? Can I look at your outfits? Hold on. Can oh I yeah. Love this. And then we went for a little bit of dancing to some industrial music and immediately ran into some more people that I knew. What's up, friends? Michael! Let's go! Industrial dance crew, Psy, SoCal Industrialist, SCI dance crew. What do you think, Michael? Am I am I goth enough to be here? Oh, <laughs> German music. I'm gonna I'm gonna come and pant. I'm gonna crumb. I'm crumbing. I'm currently crumbing. I love this language. He's responsible. <laughs> Say, uh, wh what's your at, John? Das Bunker. <laughs> cool, well, good to know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Your are amazing. Thank you so much. You want to be in my vlog? Oh my god, this is so cute. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I never. <laughs> I never. I never.
all good things must come to a close, and as the night ended, I reflected on my time as a goth. And you know what? I think it was pretty good. I would rank it like a 7.5 out of 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. You know, goths are pretty friendly, and it was a great experience, so I would do this again. All right. All right. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.